Hello everyone, welcome to this short preview video. My name is Marcia Smith and I pastor Mississauga Victory Church. This Sunday, September 27th, we are going to be having a special service. We are in the midst of a sermon series called How to Thrive in the Midst of a Crisis. And these couple of weeks, we're looking at our finances, how to thrive um, financially during a crisis. We're having a special guest, Joy Adams. She has been a financial advisor for over 25 years. She's also a certified cash flow specialist. And we're gonna have a bit of a different service. We are going to have a conversation and we're inviting you to be part of this conversation. There's gonna be opportunities for you to ask questions. And so this Sunday, we're gonna tackle the issue of our mindsets regarding our finances. So Joy, we're looking forward to having you this Sunday. Can you um, give us um, a little preview? Why is it so important for us to understand our mindsets when it comes to money? Hello, everyone. Our money mindset, our money mindset dictates our money personality. It governs how we spend, how we save, and how we invest. So if we're not thriving in these three areas, as believers, we need to go to the, um, to the Word of God. It is the Word of God that changes us, it renews our minds, and that is what we need to do as believers in order for us to shift our mindset so that we can thrive even in the midst of this pandemic. Awesome. Okay, so you have shared with me that there are actually seven mindsets that we have, very different personalities will have different mindsets. Can you give us a, one example of one of these seven mindsets that you're going to be talking about? One of the, um, the, there are seven, as you rightfully said, but the one that I think a lot of us can relate to is the bunker. Okay. The bunker. For the bunker money mindset, Safety and security are paramount. <laughs> They'll rather leave their money in a regular savings account. And we know that a regular savings account probably earned 0.0002%, which is barely anything. Mm -hmm. So with this money mindset, they will rather leave their money there because it re represents security. For them, the fear of losing prevents them from having to invest their money in the market, for example, or invest in any type of, of investment vehicle. So with this money mindset, the primary motivation is fear, fear of losing, fear of loss, fear of not having enough. But once again, we need to apply the word of God to break that spirit of fear. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing that. Um, another thing that we want to talk about and we have discussed um, together is generational wealth, right? And so a lot of times parents will teach their kids about, you know, saving and budgeting and things like that. But how important is it for us to teach our children to have a kingdom mindset in regards to money? We're going to talk about that in detail, but just give our viewers a quick preview. Oh, it is so vital. It is really vital. Many of our money personalities that we have developed over, you know, over time, it all stems from the way we were raised. If we're from homes where there's lack and anxiety about money, our children, they see it and they're, you know, it's playing out in front of their faces every single day. So they are brought up and as adults, that anxiety and fear still remains. So as adults, believers, kingdom builders, we need first and foremost to be, get just so um, ingrained in our children that aspect that God, number one, paramount, that God is our source. And because he's our source, there's no need for us to be fearful about giving. There's no need for us to be anxious about our finances. So we need to teach our children that aspect that number one, God is our source. You awesome. also need to teach them how to be a giver. Okay. And if you teach our children to give, they will have no problem at all with tithing. When you teach them how to give, number one, you will break that spirit of fear of giving. Secondly, you will break that spirit of poverty 
or with your life? Hey, Joy, we don't want to give too much away, right? Because we are going to have a really important discussion this Sunday. And um, everyone watching, I want for you to begin inviting people to this um, conversation we're going to be having on Sunday. Nothing changes in our lives until the change begins up here. Right? So we all have these goals and, and dreams for our finances, but it begins, as Joy says, with the renewing of our mind. And I believe Joy is going to lead us into uh, a test where we can assess and determine uh, what our money mindset um, is and how it is shaping our money habits. So I want to invite um, you to encourage everyone to come. Uh, if you have adult children, um, let them be a part of this conversation. We are going to have opportunity for questions. Um, at the very end, they can come and join us at the church facility or watch the YouTube uh, live streaming. So again, everyone, uh, Mississauga Victory Church, this Sunday, September 27th at 1230 p.m., we're going to begin uh, with worship, and then we're going to get right into this very important uh, conversation with Joy Adams. We look forward to having you join us. God bless you, and we'll see you on Sunday. God bless you.